President Trump meets with Republican senators on Capitol Hill today to discuss tax reform for the first time. Just, the meeting comes just a day after the Pentagon released new information about that attack in Niger that left four U.S. soldiers dead and two wounded. One detail in particular has become the focus of the investigation. Why one of those soldiers killed was found nowhere near the firefight. As for backup, officials say troops on the ground didn't call for it until an hour into fighting. They didn't ask for support for that first hour. My judgment would be that that, that that unit thought they could handle the situation without additional support. Officials insist the unit was out on what, what was believed to be a low-risk reconnaissance mission. Let's go to WCCO chief political reporter Pat Kessler live at the Capitol. Pat, the president ignored questions yesterday about the mission in Niger, yeah. but the Pentagon is saying, look, we're not withholding any information here. We're telling you the, the latest that we know. Yeah, that was interesting. The chief of staff, uh, the chief of the of the armed services staff, uh, General Dunford, yesterday giving as much information he said, trying to be as transparent as possible. But there are so many questions about this: why this happened? Was there an intelligence failure? What about the body of La David Johnson? What about all of this stuff? And then you come to Congress, where many members of the Armed Services Committee in the Senate, for example, did not even know. We had troops in Niger, so there are so many, so many questions still to answer from this terribly tragic event that has been a, has political repercussions as well as military ones. So that this is going to go on for some time. No, absolutely.